Alright guys, Hatch Kramer here again today. Hope you're doing well and enjoying your day. So far, the cheating drama is not going away with the sound equalization discussions continuing last night. Sib calling out 04 of the Seattle Surge to potentially cheating in their games, but 04 is not backing down at all. He fires back at Sib big time. Sib does not seem so impressed about it. Lots of reactions to this drama as a result, and understandably so. Very much enjoyed to your thoughts in the comments. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new as always. I greatly appreciate it. First of all, big thanks to Underdog Fancy for supporting today's content. The perfect time to get involved in fancy sports, especially right now with the NBA playoffs going on. You can mix and match your entries across Call of Duty, other esports, and most certainly sports as well. There's big games going on this evening. Surge and 04, they play tonight up against the Las Vegas Legion to see if Vegas have any idea what's going on after their series versus Optic. Optic play Miami as well, so that will be interesting to see. And then Subliners, they do play this evening. So both 04 with this drama and Sib are going to be at action this evening in various matches. Also, if you guys choose a player that you think might get slams. If you go for the rivals feature, then if one player gets slammed and the other player gets slammed even harder, then you might still end up coming out on top. If you guys want to get involved and you are in any of the eligible regions, use the link in the description box below or code RAB for a deposit match up to the value of $100. Play responsibly, of course, if you choose to. And let's dive straight on with the drama, baby, because we've got a lot to dive into. Stanley, of course, a masterclass versus the Los Angeles Thieves last night to put off that reverse sweep. Stanley even, or Dashi says to Stanley, damn, all that Valorant practice is paying off with these search and destroys. And Stanley's like, yeah, like it's honestly working well. I'm not gonna lie, when I started playing CS like several years ago, I generally think it did improve my play in search and destroying cards, just from like a mindset perspective. And as Stanley says, though, like, chill before fans start saying we're not dedicated. But um, yeah, Stanley's performance was stellar. Whether that's maintainable for Minnesota Rocker, we shall see over time. But I've got a couple of clips to share for you guys. And well, the drama goes from multiple angles now. We know that the subliners had a hard time so far this stint. They beat Minnesota Rocker in a pretty damn close series. I'm not going to lie to close to start out the stage. And let's not forget subliners. They were top three last major. They were, what, six in one in the qualifiers last stage. You know, they beat FaZe not that long ago online. So it felt like subliners were, you know, still very much in the top four territory, but they did get reasonably comfortably beaten by Optic in that loser's finals back in the major. They come to this stage, it doesn't feel like we're watching the same team. They lost to Ravens, and it's not like Ravens have kicked on since then with their results and performances this past weekend. And then they lost to Surge, a team that does look improved, no doubt in my mind, but it's still Surge, a team that is woeful at control, and they lost to them in a control. This is the world championship winning team. This is the team that dropped Priest to bring in Sib because they said, you've got to try and pack a punch. It's obviously not working out. How would it have gone with Priester? I suppose we shall never know. But with Sib, it's clearly not currently going to plan and they've got lots to think about. So the discussion has been, potentially from Sib and from others, that maybe the reason why they're losing online is because there's loads of online cheese happening, especially on the sound equalization side. There are gentlemen's agreements the pros put into place. The snaking, for example, the Saudi Q was GA'd by the pros back in December, whatever it was, and, well, the belief is that maybe certain players have been slowly turning it back on over time because it's very difficult to tell if somebody's doing it. This is what Scrappy is about to say in this clip, where he says, well, at least if it's, you know, single tap to sprint or, like, auto tax sprint or something, you can see if somebody's got it on watching their POV. Soundy Q, you can't tell. It's only... You know, you look at some of their decision making and you think, well, was that inspired by hearing things they shouldn't be hearing? Because Soundy Q has been officially, well, not officially maybe, but it's been banned by the CDL on LAN and it's kind of a known thing that you're not allowed to turn it on in the window settings on, you know, in a LAN setting. But last year for the online qualifiers, it was effectively free game. Remember when Boston did that kind of like home event? Well, it wasn't like a home event, but they invited a couple of uh, teams to play in front of a crowd and they refused to turn off the sound EQ or whatever it was. Like, that was uh, certainly drama with the time. So Scrappy says, there's lots of this happening. He accuses straight up Miami of using it. He reckons they're doing some dodgy stuff. And apparently there might be other teams as well. I got 82 movement. Caesar has, like, what, 52? This 42 and Dante. Right, Dante has the worst movement uh, I've no, seen. Da Dante, Dante, he might be a six. The way he plays... <laughs> uh, I, I got nothing. <laughs> He might be a oh, six, Pago. If, if you see the way he jumps up Scaff, he might be a six. He can't even jump up still on Sundays. <laughs> he, 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 he got it. That's he might, insane. He six. People yeah. are sounding. Half the league had the thing? EQ? Yeah, Hello? EQ's GA'd, and then half yeah, the league yeah, has gone. He put COVID. But you know what it is? But you know what it is? Put COVID. All these, the AMs get picked up, and then they just don't care. 
They've yeah. been using ATS. They, they've been using single tap. They've been using EQ, ATS. snaking, stair glitching, and they come in and they're like, "Oh, oh yeah, oh, I didn't really? know we can't do this." Yeah, I didn't know. Like, yeah, you do. All good, man. You do know that. Getting sounded with Kova. It's fine because guess what? Land cannot use it. Yeah, you can't use it on land. So. Bro, the route by Dill in the Miami. Oh, yeah, when Miami. We might I, was in the I texted Javi. I say, "Bro, you're sounding." He said, "I swear I'm not." Just Javi, I know, like. You think yeah. he just reads that? He's laying down, crawling. Just spins. I mean, I do like up. flanking, like, but I've never seen anyone take that route yet. I've never seen anyone take that route. I've never seen anyone. He is laid really out outside of red, looking top he red, is like waiting for you. No, it was insane. Yeah. No. And it's not like he got up and like, oh, I'm gonna check mid alley. No, he yeah, got up and he's spun. like, just yeah. He's <laughs> no, he's <laughs> like, oh my god, he's right here. <laughs> I was, I was like, like yo, he's coming down. <laughs> I said, like, maybe his teammate saw you. Like, when, when you died, it goes to his teammate. He's yeah. in calf. No one there. Just yeah. like, yeah. okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe I've been seen or yeah. something. Like, maybe he pinged you across the map. Right. I mean, I'll give the benefit of the doubt. If I was fighting for champs and stuff, I'd have it on. That's one of the GAs that I can, like, let. Yeah, I'm a scumbag. Well, loudness. Yeah, I love loudness. I could just let it pass. Because the thing is, like, you can't really... Like, that ruined my mental last bro, year. You, how can you just let it pass? Because you can, like... This year, there's a dead silence. How it can doesn't you, work. Exactly. Yeah. How can so you, like, tell? Point? Like, you can't tell. No, Single I, tap, you can I tell when out. someone's running it. I yeah. figured it out. You don't, you don't have to be silent. So you run covert, and you also run dead silence, and you pop dead silence whilst you got covert on. Yeah, but guess, guess, guess what? Get out of I'm a dead silence. Can you do that again? There you go. Or they can hear me running for a bush. As Envoy says, look, if you're in the fight for the World Championship and the CDL isn't going to do anything about it, I'm not surprised that GAs are getting broken here. But, um, and it was probably only a matter of time until this happens. I do wonder still if there's going to be any, you know, snakes thrown around. Shall we say, Major 3, Major 4, certainly at the World Championship. But some of these other things, I can't say I'm surprised that, you know, probably what happens is someone gets killed in a certain way, in a scrim or whatever. They think, damn, that guy heard me doing that, must have sound EQ on therefore they as a team convince themselves the other team has sound EQ on therefore they think well if they're using it we're gonna run it then they actually do turn it on and all of a sudden they then get accused of using sound EQ and then another team turns it on and then it just spirals from there so this is what Sib started off with yesterday the amount of pros using sound EQ online is actually crazy I actually don't get it he says so implying that well there's a lot of teams using it Zoom was like well come on name the names and Ben doing a prime bit of instigating here as you know pros would rather the vague tweet rather than name and shame or hit the GA chat to start to get it resolved. So of course that was going to inspire some sort of a reaction and the first reaction really was around how could you actually enforce this because Sib then says right too many to name and shame but I'd, ra and I'd rather say it vaguely to pinpoint but I know for sure Seattle are running it so if there's one T that he decides to just bring to the party straight away it's Surge and we'll see the reaction to that in a second. Pros have been saying that teams have been running it so I'm not the only one. Has anyone hit the GA chat to for the ban and um, look, technically it's GAs but if people are using it and not getting blacklisted then as Ben says it's not GAs but as Sib says there's no realistic way to stop it unless you're on LAN which is you know, I guess in some ways true, but like you could enforce it if you really tried. I think even Slasher came up with this idea, basically saying, look, every series do a random PC check after the series of a random player just to see if they've got it on a lot, or even during the series, I don't know, during a break or something, so they can't turn it off after they've just won the series. But, um, you know, and uh, Ben says they just don't have the manpower. So Marky B wades in, all it takes is after the IT check is someone plugging another mix up with loudness EQ on and they'll be undetected, which, um, you know, so basically online he's saying that you can kind of cheese it but there are these things called integrity cameras and I don't really know if they even still use those but they introduced them I think back in M Dub 19 when everything went online because of the pandemic and the intention was that the integrity camera would like watch their router and it would watch their PC so they couldn't like you know plug in cheats or doing any dodgy stuff so that was kind of the plan but he also says surely there's got to be a way to disable these advanced sound settings via some sort of policy and um, you know arguably you could do a random check of every player once map to a map four ends anyone caught with the settings enabled automatically forfeits the series but um you know tmac goes the league doesn't care so it's not going to happen and sib seems to agree which i kind of agree like that seems how it is to me the fact that the league doesn't even try and enforce this stuff shows me they don't really care because they could try like if they were really intending the league to shut down these competitive integrity violations then I think they could do so and they probably would do so but they don't so what conclusion are you intending to draw and that's the thing right at the end of the day the pros can only do so much here on this type of stuff they can try and enforce their own snaking GAs sure but um, when it comes to sound EQ that's really difficult to tell 
at that point, it comes down to the league to decide. And um, there's only so much you can do. However, the drama did, of course, kick off, as you might have expected. So Sib then says, I know for sure Serge are running it. And of all the Surge players to wade in, it's going to be 0-4. And this, I think, is just sensational, right? Because you get these new kids. They come into the league and um, they bring the energy. It's just how COD works, isn't it? The, it doesn't matter what new player comes in. They've always got that little bit of energy that you don't necessarily find in other esports. And we'll see if 0-4 stays around the league for many years to come. He looks like he's going to be an entertaining character. So I will certainly be watching his career with great interest. But as he says, come on, little man, don't spread this rumor. So, I mean, the little man is just unreal for 4 Like, I think he knew that this was going to get under Sim's skin, obviously. So, and then obviously Dante comes back in the replies. Everyone in the league says you're running it. It's already been spread. You'll go out of your way to stay glitch and run single tap. You think you're credible. You know, so basically saying that not only are you using sound EQ, you know, you're stay glitching, you're using single single tap to sprint all the cheese they're bringing out. I wouldn't be surprised if Surge are, because even before O4 joins, they were the jammiest team in the league. Like These guys were using everything under the sun, breaking all the GAs, getting blacklisted from scrims for months. So you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Surge is still using stuff. And at this point, they need all the help they can get, let's be honest, right? So, you know, why not, I suppose, if no one's going to really clamp down on it? And then, of course, 04, like those guys beat New York, right? And that was seemingly the reason why Dante thinks that they lost that series is because, well, Seattle were cheesing. You know, they were using all this stuff. And 04 is kind of implying, well, you know, that must be why we beat you guys we must have been using all of this stuff but Sib can't help himself he comes back with this you'll think you'll go as one because you're actually good you let one win from a top team get to your head and I'll sell my testes if I ever lose to you guys again which is um I've never seen a tweet quite like this obviously O4's reply we'll get to in a second so I guess you know Sib basically saying well one win well done sunshine I'll see you on LAN but also he's saying look from a top team so he's still considering some LANers to be a top team which is probably fair but um you know I don't know if the way that New York have been playing lately is necessarily indicative of a top team. And Sim's basically like, look, I'm never losing to you guys again, or um, my manhood is disappearing. But 04 simply says, stop costing your team, little man. <laughs> I guess we know that it's obviously been a rough time for Sim lately. I wouldn't say it's a one-man issue why the subliners have been struggling, but um, it's not like Sim has been performing especially well. So um, yeah, I mean, what a back and forth there between these two guys. Not the drama that I expected really between the two on the day. And even Sim then responded to say, and you can have that last W, consider it an audible gesture. Hopefully, hopefully, it'll make you to the World Championship with the implication, I suppose, that, you know, I'll go on to beat you there as well. So, um, yeah, stop costing your team, little man. That is uh, going to go down in the memory as far as I'm concerned. They do play at some point soon. It's actually quite a while away. But, um, yeah, as, uh, as we see here, looks like the testicle doctor will be busy on June the 7th because it's Surd Sublano is on the 7th of June. It's a while away, of course. They may play at the Major, but they will not play before for then so this is in the final set of qualifiers going into major four but um still worthy of notes that these two teams hopefully will match up again soon and it's certainly possible at the major depending how things go these are the three games for this evening to close out the weekend vegas versus surge is first up and surge have looked well better with 04 in the team absolutely vegas i think have arguably looked worse but maybe with a bit more time it's going to be different all i'm going to say is surge put up a better fight in the 3-0 defeat to optic last weekend's than I think Vegas did. So I'm actually going to take Surge here potentially in five, but um, I think as a unit, they seem a little bit stronger right now. So difficult to say. I don't think that one could go either way. Optic should beat Miami. Miami, to be honest, they're not going to be bad online. And um, given that Optic had some close maps with Surge and Vegas, I think there will be close maps here against Miami. But um, Pred loves playing these guys and putting them to bed. So I imagine that's probably going to happen again. And then FaZe New York. I mean, FaZe are surely going to win. The question is how close. New York have played FaZe pretty close so far this year. But on recent performances I don't really know and um you know phase 3-0 this series then that is well it continues to be a statement but also subliners might just not be that good so very much enjoyed your thoughts in the comments hit the like button if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new take care thanks to underdog and I'll see you next time